Hey, Dr. Karen here, and welcome to another edition of the Spiritual Medicine Digest. Well, life has definitely been less than perfect <laughs> this week. Uh, it's been quite chaotic for many people as well as the world. In fact, uh, multiple fires burning all over the world. And when I asked Source about it, um, I still get that you know the 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 actual you know um, event is still for the highest good. Now you may ask, well, gee, if some of these fires are artificially created by humans who are vengeance, you know, into vengeance or whatever it is, how possibly could that be for our highest and greatest good? Well, the universe works in mysterious ways. So I had a deeper conversation with Source this week as to, okay, how is it that we could perceive this as for our highest and greatest good as a collective, as a human collective, why are all these burnings for the highest good? Now, obviously, we need the oxygen. We, we love trees. We, you know, we don't want consciously these things to burn. But the universe has a way of teaching us or inspiring us to evolve if uh, we need a kick in the butt. So, same thing when happened when I got fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue syndrome many, many years ago, was that I would not stop my train of thought. I would not stop pushing and and um, being stressed out and you know whatever <laughs> you know the world was against me you know whatever attitude I had because I had lost my ability to work and I got really resentful and all this kind of stuff I just burned my adrenals out basically and um, the universe was like well let's see the hints that we're giving are not really working so we need a bigger hint <laughs> so out comes the angelic two by four right Boom, right off the side of the head, and I say that lovingly. So, <laughs> meaning that I, I had to be stopped in my track, like, wake up! You know, and sometimes we need that, I hate to say. In the future, we won't need that, but sometimes we do need that to wake up the collective. So when I had this deeper conversation with Source, how is this possible that it is for our highest and greatest good, despite humans creating it, maybe purposefully or whatever, the answer was this. So I'm gonna read this off to you. I wrote it down. Um, so the physical earth burning has to do with autoimmunity in the creation. So the infinity verse is all of what's already created that you and I have co-created together. So it's everything, multiple timelines, you know, past, present, future, everything's the infinity verse. So there is autoimmunity in the infinity verse. And the reason for the burning that's for the highest and greatest good is to inspire us. And I thought that was really important, that word inspire us, to change something. So then I asked, well, what what is this supposed to inspire us to change? So um, it took a little bit of doing to, to get this intuited, but I finally got it that it was to inspire us to change our priorities as humans. And I thought, wow, okay, makes sense. So I'm thinking, you know, change priorities from what to what. So I'm thinking priorities from like, I don't know, self-centeredness or money or like the priorities like that. And it wasn't that at all. It was to inspire us to change our priorities for humans from separation thinking and fear to love and higher consciousness. And I thought, that sounds kind of woo-woo, right? And I thought, well, why is that a priority? Why is fear and separation a priority? Well, you know what? What we do and what we resonate tells the universe what is our priority. So if we worry, the universe goes, whatever you're worrying about is a priority for you, so I'm gonna give you more of that, you know? If we're afraid of things happening, then the universe goes, okay, that is your priority, or to be afraid. Yeah, and I was like, wow, okay, that's pretty profound. So when, as a collective, we can switch our um, priorities to love and higher consciousness instead of, you know, what we're currently resonating at, uh, then we don't need the big two by fours, angelic two by fours, like, you know, multiple forests burning in, in the world that, you know, threaten the existence of humanity and, and other things, uh, you know, life on earth, right? So that was pretty profound. So what was very interesting about this autoimmunity, because sometimes my body will reflect what's going on in the infiniverse, because that's my role as a type four healing type, uh, high responsibility healer person. And many of you are type threes and fours as well with high responsibilities. Sometimes it's great, like great to know what the assignment is, isn't it? <laughs> so in this particular assignment, um, 
I got that there is a, a positive morphic field. I asked about a positive morphic field. Is it available for us so to increase harmony in all of the infiniverse? And the answer was, of course, yes! Woohoo! So what is this called? It's called sacred harmony. So sacred harmony is the positive morphic field that has not been created yet, which we just created a few days ago. Uh, to download and activate in all in the infiniverse and of course you can amplify that in yourself by just making that intention that you want that download and activated in your life and your being and all versions of you and all timelines if you happen to have my ascension 2 products or dpling 2 or 4 or awaken your superpowers mp3s there that is already infused into that so you can just play that and make that intention hey you know that sacred harmony thing <laughs> download it to me and whoever i you know um focus my attention on so so that was super exciting. So that what that means is that there is a there is now a blueprint for the Infiniverse to have the sacred harmony to release uh, autoimmunity in all of its different forms. There's not just physical autoimmunity. There's mental, emotional, spiritual, energetic, dimensional. You know, there's all types of autoimmunity. So this is super super important for us. And I hope that um, you know you notice a difference after this download. Uh, you may or may not, because there's a lot of things that still need to change in the world, of course, as a collective. And if you are very sensitive to that, and and you may not be able to control your superpowers, your sensitivity superpowers, you may feel a lot. And so there's a lot of chaos going on in the world. But here's the really cool thing I was listening to. A training by uh, Bruce Lipton and Greg Braden from Missing Links. This is at the very end of season three where they're having this amazing conversation. And by the way, I've interviewed Bruce a couple of times and he is a fantastic, amazing person. You know, he, he lives his, his message, you know. Um, so they were talking about, and Bruce was talking about the whole, you know, when the body... When the cells fight each other, they call that autoimmunity. And he says, humanity, this planet has autoimmunity as well. And that's how, you know, that the messages come through from source to other people, to me. Uh, so that made a lot of sense to me that we need to uh, shift our priorities so to stop fighting with ourselves and others as well. And this occurs on very micro levels and macro levels. You might say, hey, I'm not fighting. I'm not... At war I'm not you know but the thing is if you are not in that consultative peace and joy on in some respects you are fighting so you have full responsibility to own your being and to manage your own vibrational state doesn't mean that you don't feel negative at times or angry or sad those are human emotions but the thing is you don't judge it when that happens when you don't judge it and you acknowledge it and then you can release it you know, then it doesn't hamper you and cause pain and illness and disease and things like that. And uh, wh whoever's the biggest energy in the room wins. So if you've got someone who is a leader of some sort and they are very negative or, um, you know, somehow have negative energy that's uh, releasing from them and they're bigger energy than your love, you know, then we've got, you know, we've got our work cut out for us. So just keep that in mind with everything that's going on in the world. So a few announcements. Oh, well, actually, I did want to share with you uh, one other thing. Uh, some of you and myself as well have been itchy this week, and this has to do with uh, parallel and non-parallel uh, lives, um, doing a lot of emotional detoxing. So just bear with it. <laughs> I'm going to be, you know, I'm, I'm still doing ongoing clearing. One of the things you can do if you do divine muscle tests is just to make sure, check to see if you have excess wind energy, that's from Chinese medicine, or excess heat or summer heat energy, and you can go ahead, dissolve and uncreate that for yourself, uh, layer by layer, to hopefully help your symptoms. But a lot of us could feel what was going on in our parallel timeline. So hopefully I've been working on that successfully so you're less itchy this week or the week uh, going. So a couple of announcements. On Monday's show, Dr. Dennis is going to be back with us talking about LifeWave, Ask the Doctors. So you can ask your doctors, uh, sorry, you can ask us, uh, the LifeWave doctors, whatever you want related to LifeWave phototherapy patches, how they work for you, any particular formula that would be helpful for certain symptoms. Uh, so that's on Monday's show. So we're going to post the link below the video on how you can connect to that. Uh, also coming up, just uh, mark your calendars. So we've got the Light Warrior Training Camp at Omega coming up September 27th 
uh, 22nd to the 27th, and then um, I am launching the Light Warrior Bootcamp 2.0 which is going to be in October, October 21st with U Wealth Revolution. So that's gonna be super exciting because you're gonna get the latest uh, techniques, training and healing for entity clearing. So you're gonna learn how to do entity clearing uh, better than ever before. So there's a lot of things new that I'm going to be, uh, tweaks and things like that that is going uh, that I'm going to be sharing with you in the Light Warrior Bootcamp. So stay tuned, get on my mailing list and karencan.com to get alerts of uh, you know when that is happening and when that's gonna be launched. So I'm super, super excited about that. So it's a, a pretty jam-packed uh, a uh, couple of months actually yeah all the way to December I've got lots of travel I've got skating competition going on <laughs> oh boy I need to clone myself anyway um, but thank goodness for stoem right stillness through observing internal movement I get to do that when I get into the ah you know uh, and that's what you can do as well so lots and lots of wonderful tools so stay with me if you are watching this on YouTube please subscribe uh, using the button below and connect with us on Light Warrior Network on Facebook and uh, yeah, drop a line and say hi. All right, until next time, lots of love. Bye for now.